Hi there everyone, this is Mario again from M Studio, and welcome to this new tutorial. Today we are going to talk about depth of field. This is probably going to be my shortest tutorial ever. I try to keep my videos under 10 minutes because I think you have better things to do than to listen to my voice. And also because I assume that if you want to learn something, you don't want to spend your entire life on it. I hope you appreciate the way I do things, but enough chit chats for today, let's talk about depth of field. In this scene I have three objects, and this is probably the only politically correct way of treating a woman as an object. Alright, I promise this is the only lame joke of this tutorial. So, I have three objects, and as you can see, there is a certain distance between them. Maria is in front, of course, Antonio is in second place, and little Gino is down there. If I hit render, everything is in focus, but if I want to add some cool depth of field, it is extremely easy. Follow me. All you have to do is to click the render settings icon, activate the physical render engine, click on physical, and check the depth of field option. If you go back to your camera, you will find a tab called again Physical, where you can type the f-stop value. To achieve a very strong depth of field effect, you need to crank down this number between 0.2 and 1. And remember, the smaller is the number, the stronger your effect will be. I'll type 0.2. The next thing to do is to move to the Object tab. Click the arrow next to the focus distance value and select a point in your view. I will click somewhere over little Gino. If I hit render, you can immediately perceive a very strong difference in focus between what's close to the camera and what's not. Maria is completely blurred out. I am using the progressive render setting of my personal toolbox preset that allows me to have a great result in almost no time. It is very useful in general, and particularly in this case. You can download my toolbox for free, and you will not get just render settings, but also free materials, an HDRI studio setup, a customizable infant floor, and other very useful tools to speed up your workflow. Ta -da -da -da. End of the commercial. Let's go back to Maria. If I want to have her in focus, otherwise she'll get mad at me. Sorry, I said no lame jokes. I just can't help myself. So, if I want to have Maria in focus, I just have to click the focus distance arrow again and click somewhere on her body. Be gentle, and I will not say it again. <clears throat> if I hit render again, you can see that with a simple click, I have completely changed the scene. And that's it. Is that easy? What is great about this technique is that you can also keyframe and animate the focus distance and get something like this. Cool, huh? And we are done. As usual, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, Write your comments and questions in the section below, give me a thumb up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, share it with your friends, you can also find me on Facebook and Twitter, and as I always say, go ahead, make me proud. Ciao! Hey, if you reached this part of the tutorial, you might have enjoyed it, so if you think I deserve a tip, well, I would not get offended. <laughs> you can support my project with, doesn't matter, even one cent is okay. I really appreciate uh, My PayPal address is info at mstudioitaly.com and you can find a donation link in the description or in the download page of uh, the toolbox. Thanks a lot and uh, yeah. Thanks. Ciao.